All right, we got pretty much an empty truck and we're ready to fill it with treasures. What is up everyone? Here we are, another beautiful day in paradise. We got the beautiful Sammy J. Good morning. Making claims because she had her coffee already. Mm -hmm. Vintage Hollister California shirt. So what is that material awesome. called? Uh, felt. It's like fuzzy, but like, like cracked and decayed because it's so old. Like, I don't fucking know, but it's soft. So we are going to go trash picking today, and we are going to go to see the cats in Atlantic City and give them this whole bag of food that we have for them, and probably go trash picking on the island where um, there's a lot of good stuff usually. We haven't hit Longport in a long time, but we have found really, really good stuff there before in the past, so we're going to make it happen. Gonna go trash picking, see what we can find. Hopefully fill this truck with different treasures and scrap and keep pushing. So here we go, boys, on a mission. And I remember staring at the ceiling, trying to deal with emotions and your one feelings. All I wanted was a picture on my Is this thing? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Check this thing out, dude. Just film me for a second. My dream they have That's head. so gross that you're even touching that, <laughs> honestly. It's gross to you. It's a little dreamer, boys. <laughs> if it was like washed off, but they were like sweating on that. The bikes. <laughs> Single cross in the street right in now. The crosswalk. He was like, pedestrians have the right of way. <laughs> <laughs> He totally Wait, did that, that was the funniest thing I've he's seen still going today. On the curve. <laughs> like he's learning from the humans how to cross uh, Yeah. Street. That's so crazy. That was so awesome. Straw, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -mm. Both. The two straw. The blueberry coffee, right? And all this, the blueberry whole combo cobbler. that people sent us. Three different combos. And Three one. different combos in one. Blueberry cobbler coffee, that awesome coffee mug. And that awesome straw. Mm -hmm. All right, we weren't really planning on going to any sales today, but this place is wild, cat. How heavy is it here? Heavy. Church sale. Oh, it's insane in here. This church sale blows minds, right? What's the thing going on here? Okay, so our friend Tim that takes care of the cats on the AC boardwalk. We're gonna see if he's here. So then we can give him the kiki food and that Dunkin' Donuts that pops off. That Dunkin' Donuts pops off. It's gone now. Hi hey, Tim. Hey guys, what's, what's up, up, man? Don't get them no see. I know. 
Oh, the baby's got the belly full. I don't know where we're at now. Oh, he's <laughs> most likely right there. Yeah, that's his new home. Uh, the baby. The baby baby. That's his new home. Hey! Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, like wet snakes. Oh, shit. Okay. They're just like moving up. All right. It's just got that angel uh, issue in her head. She doesn't. Uh, Fatty would take a couple of bites and scream and then run off and you have to coach her back out within an hour or so. But she doesn't have that. She's just like, afraid of everything. Pigeons, seagulls, you name it. I don't know. Put the food this far in front of her. She stared at I, I timed it. It was 35 minutes before she ruled out. looked at me and then they looked back at me again. They came back to me and said, uh, are you one of the volunteers? And I said, yes, I am. And she said, uh, last night we seen uh, a lady, or, no, first she said, are you missing any cats? And I said, not that I know of. I said, why? I said, she said, uh, and you know, they said, uh, a lady and a girl, about this girl's age, picked uh, a brown uh, and white cat up a uh, buck and a half. It's the biggest crystal ever. Chairs, though. Metal, at least. All right, so we found these really, really, really cool mid century plastic top, metal bottom, metal frame plastic here mid-century chairs the lady came out and she said that they were from the house that she bought they came with the house she didn't want to deal with them and the house is from at least the 60s so they might not be mid-century like mid-century 50s but like at least 60s if not older but all oh, the tags are just ripped off the bottom. For what reason, I have no idea. It's just kind of brutal, so I can't actually see who made these, but we're gonna get 10 each for them at the minimum, or 50 for all if someone's willing. If I can sell them fast, if we can sell them fast, we're good. But like, these are really cool chairs, to be honest. I already posted them on Offer Up, and we'll see. I, I want to try and find them online. All right, so this is my little setup I got going on here. These two, and this guy I'm trying to get up on, and these, and this. But uh, I would consider the actual act of posting to eBay is extremely boring and time-consuming, and hats off to all the people that go hard on eBay because... Yeah, you do make a great deal more than you would at, like, say, a flea market. Or if someone just came to your house. Because, like, flea markets, I consider to be, like, going there just looking for almost anything for a good deal. Whereas, like, on eBay, you're specifically searching something that you're willing to pay more for because you want it. Where, like, at flea markets, people are just like, eh, I'll buy it because it's cheap. Or, like, maybe they're looking for... A category maybe of of something not necessarily one specific item so like you can get more money but the work that you put in is pretty much exhausting I would claim but without this poster and list I would never be able to figure out the right names to list all these characters so like I think this kind of fell into my lap like from the universe Given me it. Alright, I'm good in the shot. Alright, your foot's in the way. Now I smell something all weird. It's your breath. No, dude. It's your ass. It's your fucking vagina. <laughs> you are. I'm in, I'm in this reality. Alright, what's the question? The most important thing in life is to be able to get yourself to a point where you're fulfilled enough to give back to, to another being and then be able to, you know, walk the talk. 
and not have to worry about any insecurities or what other people think. Just do the program. But it could be an animal, it could be a person that you're giving back to. Or multiple animals. Uh, I don't know if it's <clears throat> the most important thing, but to arrive at a place where you're actually fulfilled so you don't live in fear or insecurities anymore or competition or whatever so you actually get to a point where you're where you're there right are you free though ever I don't think you're ever really free. Depends. Free is a, it's a thought process. You can think you're free, but no matter what, if you live in any kind of a house or a situation, you have to pay either some kind of rent or if you own a house, even if you own it, you still have to pay taxes. But we, it's all man-created, though. It doesn't matter. It's still not do it totally... You can be free... And still have attachments, I guess. And Jesus said, give unto Caesar what is Caesar's. What does Jesus have to do with being free? The money. The money is the money's printed by the government. Give it back to him. Who cares about the money? That's, he means it, it's meaningless. First of all, that's the what money he meant. isn't it's printed by the government. Jesus, but it's that's okay. okay. It's, it's printed by the Federal Reserve. But what Jesus meant was, that's true freedom. Give unto Caesar what is Caesar's. Don't be bogged down in, about paying taxes or not paying taxes. Who gives a shit about the money? Diligence. You have to. You have to continually work at it. You have to just. You can't give up. You have to keep going and going and going and just be committed to it. But you also have to be willing to accept failure and then pick yourself back up and try again. It's not ready. Yeah, it is. And you have to be able to. Trust the person that you're in the business with. Like Dad and I have been together all these years. You have to 100% trust the other person and know that they're always looking out for your well-being and the well-being of the tribe that you're supporting. And you also have to love what you're doing. What do you say, Rob? What's the secret of success of starting and keeping a business going? Kind of the same thing. I don't know. There's a lot to it. It's not that easy. That the answer isn't just like a 10 or 30 second answer. But I don't know because I don't look at success as different too. You have to make. You have to de decide what what is success. In our society's eyes, success is is owning property and having money. You have both. Yeah, but that's not, I don't rate but, my success that way. But you don't rate the success of your being based on that, but he's saying in our society, you would be judged as a successful businessman, and what are the, the well, key? You know, what, Rob, what Rob, happened? you can't be doing that. What happened? You know what happened. No, I don't. Hello? Hello? How am I trying? This too crazy. Oh, that's too up. bright. Put that light on. Are you ready sit to up, film? Sit up, Rob. Sit up. Um, he's you ready to film. You can't sit back. You look like you're in a lounge chair. I am in a lounge chair. Are, the, are we rolling or not? Are, are we, we good? filming? Shrimp marinara. There's a lot of flies in here. Do you know what I'm saying? You have to stop it. <laughs> yeah, I know what you're saying. Okay. How I feel about society today and how it's structured is that there's not enough consideration for the planet, for the animals, and the society has become very egocentric. And so I feel like it's almost like they're not like using their full frontal lobe or maybe not even using it at all. In some instances, it's really scary because I don't understand how we're evolving and evolving and evolving all the way just in this country from We're George not. Washington to, to Donald Trump as president and they're not addressing the issues of the environment of taking care of our humans that are starving like 
why don't we have universal health care that's actually good and really tries to help people? Why don't we have because it's not the goal of a our society. program that cares about taking care of our water and our planet and our plants and our air? I, I, I just I'm really confused that uh, people are so preoccupied with how they look on Facebook and what they're posting and and what they're buying, what kind of handbag they're carrying. I, I, I'm really confused and I feel like we don't want to do the work that's needed to be done anymore. We just want to poo poo. I don't know. What do you think, Rob? I don't remember. You don't remember what? What the question was. How, the question is, how do you feel about the way society is structured today and the direction it's going? Today the stats are out that we are outputting uh, more sociopaths than ever before. However, we're creating them. We're Doesn't really matter what I think. What it, this is, it's, we're 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 evolving or growing or not evolving or not growing. We're just moving forward the way that the the cultural shift is taking us, and a big part of it is huge amounts of money and technology. And uh, very few people, it could be thousands or hundreds of thousands, but there's six or seven billion people in the world, very few people are in control of where we're going because we create... We've allowed it. We create the, the, the energy or push through whatever it is we're using. I'll call it the media, um, whatever it might be, TV, the internet, iPhone, whatever. The, it's, it's exactly how it's supposed to be. And we're taking away the young people's ability to be free thinkers and use their imagination to develop things because what technology is doing, we're, we're giving them technology sooner and sooner and sooner. Now they're talking about coding, kids but learning. But that's not true. Kids learning coding. It, Rob, It's only true to the masses because the amount of talk? people that were in this country in the 70, 1970, say it was 180 million, there were probably X number of free thinkers compared to 180 million now there's 360 million there's probably just as many free thinkers there's just more mass thinkers okay but wouldn't you think that as we evolved as human beings we would evolve to have more and more and more free thinkers we're not we still evolving. have the That's same percentage the, of free thinkers we're yeah, not evolving but, right, instead so. we're taking little kids now they're talking about teaching coding to four and five year olds. We're talking about implanting something in their brain that doesn't allow them to think on their own. They don't have anything to draw on except what they're given through their computer. We're taking away all of the priorities of not having a computer till you're older, of not watching TV, of going into the woods, of going onto the beach and exploring for ourselves. Yeah, but We're that's losing. not realistic, so. So realistic. It's, it's not what's realistic. Going. That's not what's going on? It is what's going on, but it's so real, it's not realistic. Why? Because you can't really worry about that. What do you mean? He's asking Because you can only really affect something locally, and then if enough people locally think the same way, they can turn it into something regional, and then if the regional, you can take it to national and international, and you can think, you know, but it doesn't. This is this is all figured out anyway. Figured out by who? People who I don't really people know. who own the big corporations and companies because they're trying to get more people to work for their companies. Like right now, what's really going on with coding? I'm just giving this as an example. Is we have a shortage of coders for all these You're really different stuck on this coding because bullshit. it's all over the media right now. So what they're saying... Yeah, but that's on the, the, you're, you're falling prey to it. It's in the newspaper. Okay. It's people rebel, trying to rebel against it, talking in the newspaper. They're doing investigations. What they're doing is they're trying to get a new workforce so that they don't have to pay people as much money. So the more people you train to use computers, the less money you have to pay them. That's what I'm, all I'm saying is right now, they're, it, it's all these industries trying to get there are people to work for them to do what they want. So that's an, that's an example for the Robots. people in high school, middle school, high school, and college.
through that uh, technology is affecting them. Yeah. Okay, they want that. Yeah. And then you said healthcare, but you're never going to have universal healthcare that really is for the good of all people, because healthcare, in a way, is owned by uh, government and big no, corporations. No, no. So they actually if don't owned, want the best health for the people across the board. They want people to be sick so they can sell you their drugs. Well, and I also know that you can't have universal health care because yeah. once you have something controlled by one industry, one government, and you don't have free enterprise, like doctors can't set their limits or have control, then all of a sudden you have less access and it's not as good. I know that that's but true. But that's not even why. If you run the numbers, health care is a business. In business, you need money. And in this country, say there's 360 million people and 50% of them don't work or contribute any tax base. You can't have not universal. You can't have national health care in this country because you don't have enough people paying for it. So you don't have someone saying, okay, I want to pay 60% of my paycheck to have all these services. Right. They want to pay nothing because they don't have a paycheck and then they don't give anything. So you then, oh, well, fuck it. We'll get the rich people to pay for it. We'll share the wealth. Well, how are you going to share the wealth? Just because some guy made a hundred million, you want him to pay 90 of it? Because fucking people don't want to work and contribute back to the system? There's too many people. And then you'll be able to have something like national health care. Okay, how are you going to do that? Why do you think there's so many people dependent on the system? That, like, we that we created it that way. Somehow we created this. Because it's all part of the plan. I don't know if there's a plan or not. I don't know if it's part of the plan, but somehow we messed up along the way by letting it be that you just got too much money for free. And somehow, because we have our industry, our big businesses in other countries, we took away all the manufacturing in this country, we took away all the farms, we took away all the meat, and also we're trying to tell people that they need to do this track in high school and that track. We took away all the industrial, a lot of the industrial arts and art programs and clay programs and blacksmithing. Our young people don't know how to do anything with their hands anymore. So it's like all geared toward your brain, but if you're not the kind of person that wants to do science and math and do brainiac stuff, it's like we've taken it away and we need to get it back because otherwise we're creating an alienated society who isn't part of the end product. We need to get back into being able to make things, making bicycles, making clothes, making cars, doing things in this country that make a difference, that people can have real jobs. I mean, you feel better about yourself, obviously, if you're doing something meaningful. <laughs> Dad looks like he's feeling bad right now. No. <laughs> I don't know what the answer is. How do you feel about your body being a vessel? For my soul? Yeah. I think it's it's awesome. The body's really fragile though. What? <laughs> your body is a vessel for your soul. Obviously. What do you mean, obviously? What the hell is that? What's your body a vessel for? Fat. Look at this gut. <laughs> yeah, that's your body, though. Well, that's a vessel. What's it carrying? This, you this, this could a carry a big it. soul. Yeah, I do have a big soul. Yeah, but you don't think you don't think there's something to that? What do you mean? Well, I don't need my body to be a vessel for my soul. My soul just is. Okay, but you have it's in your body right now. Maybe, maybe not. So you're having an out of body experience? It's possible. I don't really know. But I'm not going to be worried about that. That 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 is a fear, and along with like, that's just one more like organization or slash corporation like religion. No, it's not. Sure, it is. Okay, yeah, my body is a vessel for my soul, and I'm gonna do the best I can to take care of it as long as I can, so that my soul can so you're not scared to die well so that my soul can accomplish what what so i can accomplish what i'm supposed to accomplish you already accomplished what you're supposed to accomplish so now what? how do you know that because i can tell we, i have i have a grandchild and i'm going to hopefully have more. your eyes and i can see it i'm going to hopefully accomplish more 
with my grandchildren. Love and trust is the foundation of any, I think, successful relationship. The most important thing is love. And uh, you have to have trust. And you have to um, have a lot of the same interests. And have a good sex life. <laughs> That's true. I don't know why Dad is always trying. He'll be trying to get another dog when Bart dies. No, not now. I have to wait until we're older. We have to go a couple places. Yeah, Yellowstone. We got to go some places. France, Portugal, Where Scotland. You, go you got to understand something, dude. I met mom. We started the business. We got married. I was only 22 or something and had four kids. Bam, 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 dude. So like, bam. I was a real lost soul. Quit and, drinking. And then now a month after I'm just we got like married. 55. I'll be 56 in a month. So this was the fastest like 35 years of my life. So I got to go do a couple other things. Not anything crazy, but I feel connected for sure. It's definitely a web. We're definitely all interconnected, humans and animals. And so the thing is, is that we are all interconnected. We're all part of the web. And um, basically everything that you do has an impact on something or someone else. And, uh, you know, that's what it's all about. Because they do say, you know, all the studies they've done on people that lived, centurions that lived to be over 100 one of the main things that they find that they do is they have a tribe or a group of people that they socialize with, hang out with, can trust, can talk to. And uh, so if you can't have a connection with human beings, then you're not going to be able to give back to anyone or to yourself in any way. So there's definitely a connection. Always treat other people with the same respect and love that you would want to be treated. And no matter what, because you never know what that person could be going through in their life, what they could be suffering through. And it may be if you could just give them a little extra smile or a little extra touch or, or a positive word. You don't know what kind of gift you could be giving to them. And you may never know, but why not do it? Because it's a lot easier to give a positive word and a smile than it is to be nasty. Well, you got to say something. I don't have any parting words. I'm not parting. Hopefully when he turns the camera on again, I'll still be sitting there. Watch what's the claim? 9-11 inside job or? Yeah, uh, no doubt about it, but that's all. The claim is we'll give <laughs> one old. for uh, your brother. It's nuking. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> it's nuking. All right, the SoCal Oki ordered a shirt. Found the stencil that I was looking for before under a pile of stuff in the garage. When me and Paul were looking for the nail gun and uncovered other things that I was looking for. So I'm gonna spray this down. Alright we just took the movie back and we're just cruising the streets looking for some trash right now. And we're seeing this little pile this house is for sale so maybe Maybe they're throwing out something good. Who knows? What is this thing? Pontiac, like, seat cover. What does that even mean? Some kind of a hat in here. Then it might be something cool. Damn it. Totally thought there was going to be a hat in there. What is this? Nothing that cool. Looks like stuff from a wedding from a while ago. 
That looks like some scrap right there. Well, they went and broke that. cool. I'm taking that. Damn, this is so like humid out here that the lens keeps getting fogged up. Even the other... I guess I'll take that. I don't really even know what it is, but there's two of them. It should be in there. It's like a bobblehead, I guess. Two bobbleheads. What could be in here? Just clothes? Like books? Fuck that. That's pretty much it, I think. and cool to be honest. It says all Irish linen. Irish linen. I don't know what that is. That looks like one of those like I don't even know what to call it. I'm thinking about going deep in here. Because whatever that is. Really in there. Something like a good box right here. Budweiser mug. I'm just taking, I'm about to just take this whole bag and I just call it a day. Deal with it later. What's the claim about this thing? We found this Hello Kitty friendly message thing in the trash with like a mini pencil but it's for when you're in school and you need to pass like a secret note it's like a little envelope no way <laughs> it's so classic and then hello kitty doll pencil cool and then we found like jewelry we got a test gold kit in the mail coming to us oh shit cause this might actually be real gold you know I took the whole bag I wasn't even playing there was a whole bag of different shit like that. Yeah. We'll play. We just drove by this little thing, and it's a little like metal, old school, like, I don't even know, it's, it's wood. wood, but they put it on top, literally just for me. Oh, boy. <laughs> it's ruined, dude, it's ruined. It's ruined. It's fucking smoked, boys. It's too smoked. It's too far gone. Someone else will come by and snap you for their kids. <laughs> See, like, if it was wooden, or I mean, if it was metal, and it was that in bed of shape, it wouldn't matter because it would just be rusty. But it wouldn't be, like, peeling apart, probably. So, like, the metal ones are better. Mm, why them lips so big, boy? Because of my sissy, like some sissy. All right, so so far, what we got out of that out of that score is the Hello Kitty pencil, Andy and Raggedy Ann clock from 1975. Might work, might not. Hello Kitty note passing kit. All this jewelry that potentially. Could be valuable at some point. Another one of these things. Cross. This with the peace sign, which is ridiculously cool. This thing is like a Indian head uh, nickel, but it's not one. 
And this was a music box, it looks like. So all that stuff. Decent stuff. Decent stuff. Gotta get into this more. I'm gonna put gloves on, actually. Box right here. Pay for effort. St. Augustine School. These are like metal, or uh, I don't really know. This box is pretty much scrap trash life. Little stapler. These are like Halloween decoration fingertips. See? Oh, I like this. <laughs> but, not, so but not really. Let's All right, get into let's this. Get right. in here. Let's do the surgery. This is the um the trash bin. So you can just throw stuff in here. Budweiser mug is a keep life. You can give that to someone who drinks. That, is that hand painted? 1992. No, it's not hand painted. Yeah. I've seen this before. You've seen this before? Oh no, I thought it was something else. You know how your teachers used to give you like thing in it? Oh yeah. Your teacher would say, like write something about you, but clearly I'm blind. Count on us to make healthcare work. For That's you. trash, right? Put Ew, that right in here. Fucking moth just flew out of there. Is this trash? Yeah. It is all that stuff. Yeah. It's all trash. Oh. Clock number two. Is this open or something? How is this a clock? I don't, dude. I have no idea. It's right. not a clock, actually. What am I talking about? What is it then? Made in Hong Kong. Oh, it's a radio. Mary. Dear Trey. Autograph Dear book. Let's see what it is. Children's letters to God. Dear God, I am American. What are you? Robert, wait, what is this? It's like a... Oh, it's literally children's letters to God. I think I got this thing in just for the wrong reasons, boys. Huh? This bag was kind of like a failure. Ladies' night at Finbar's Hotel. Well, that's a keep for now. WMMR rocks. Oh. Oh, no. No! <laughs> Let me see this. Dream claim, dude, with the Smurfs on the top. Oh, big ass light, so they're all... Yeah, they're coming to the light. They're coming for you. Who's next? Led Zeppelin, dude. Bob Seger. Eddie Murphy. Eddie Murphy. Jim Croce. Oh, it's not in there, dude. None of these are. Oh, wait, yeah, they are. They're just that light. This. Credence Clearwater Revival. Hello Kitty Memories. Just this case alone is for the dreamers though. Oh, man. Get the lead out. This is a Keep Life, 1976. And then it says 1985. Sanrio. What, is it a pen? No, it's a mirror. Oh shit. Oh, look, it has it like a little... They originally made it in 76, and then they remade it in 85, because so, it was a good sell life. And it's now, it's a good keep life for me, because I love Hello Kitty. Keep right. life? Like legit keep life? Like legit keep life, like I'm keeping this. Alright, alright. Put it in there. Right, here's your pen. The Who. The Who. Oh, shit. The Who, dude. I feel like my dad likes The Who. Mm. Ow. Something poked you. Yeah, this doll's hand. Something poked me in there too, and I was hating it. <laughs> nah, it looks like me though. <laughs> it does look like you. Happy summer. Uh, so this was a teacher. Let's try and get these in here. Like everything that's trash, just start putting it in there. This is all trash. It's all trash. Because it's like... What's that? 
just had a map off. Florida? Key West. Key Largy, dude. We gotta give that to the boy. Who? Oh, the boy boy. Yeah. Right? This is, yeah, Key West. Yeah. Alright, we'll give this to the boy boy. To the John boy. What's the VHS tape? Or is that a book? That's... Jimmy Buffett? Dude. Is this for the boy too? Yeah. The little, the little parrot head collection in the bottom of here. House of Blues. Live music. That's the House of Blues like in Orlando though, right? That's got a pre- From God in Blues Retrans re French Quarter. This is so That's in New Orleans. Light. Hatteras Lighthouse. I've been there before. Some got a gold earring here. True. Little bouncy ball that's ready to go in the trash. It could trash. actually be real. I'll put it in with the others. Oh, that's what poked me, maybe. Yeah. House of Blues. Oh, shit. There's a lot of jacks in here. What's up a with lot that? of other kitty stuff. Oh. Found this little. Disney markers. Hello Kitty. Scissors. Uh-huh. Hmm. This is like a goodie bag that keeps on giving though. Uh-huh. Forrest Gump the book. <laughs> Why would that even exist? Athletic Award. Hold on. It's got a sticker here. I love and some rock and roll. Parties. Yeah, we those might be like collectible to someone. What the postcards? Yeah. Mm -hmm. A little sticky, but unless they're written on, are they? Mm -hmm. No. Oh shit, that's cool. The old uh -oh. Getting down to the to the brass tacks here. Yeah, boys. Gift shop, Washington D.C. Harry Hootie or whatever. Speaking with the angel. Nick Hornby. Hmm. I don't know about that one. Uh -uh. White people. Field God. Are we cashed out on here? I'm cashed out on here. Ice cream. Job. Disney. More Disney weird stuff. Oh, these are cool. So these Disney postcards are unreal. Like, I want to get that one blown up and then. We have one blown up. It's literally it's, almost just It's a little creepy. ruined though, but that one would be really cool blown up and framed. And look at these ones. Like, what? <laughs> no, I. Like, why does Pooh Bear look like that? Because someone bought these. That's what you don't get. Yeah, but Fantasyland. A honey of a place. Ago. This, these pictures are taken out, like, at least 20 years ago. Dude, way more than that, I would claim. Probably way more, When yeah. did uh, Disney even open? A long time ago, right? Not that long ago, but, long, like... They're so fucking creepy, and they don't look like that anymore. No, they changed it up to, like, for the new age. Isn't that weird? All right, we just scored some epic stuff, like, I don't know, really cool stuff that we like to look through. I don't really even know the value of it. It's more like, how cool is that that we just found all that in the trash than anything, but some of the items might be sellable for the flea market, postable, giveaway, and maybe eBay. I don't know. We haven't sold anything on eBay yet, but we literally just opened our eBay yesterday. Ooh. But these two, the these two things. These two things? Kind of cool. A little bit weird. Old, for sure. And Can I, see I don't them? know what kind of market there there is for Do them. Do you know what this is? Well, I think the postcards are probably the coolest thing. So these two boxes are going to go in the garage. And this pile of stuff. But yeah, so if you guys liked the video from today, if you liked the interview, 
my parents just leave some comments and let us know we could do more stuff like that um and yeah we're just pushing the dream every day i know it's a little bit weird like we flash from one thing to the next and our like our videos are like all over the place sometimes but we just film what we do every day and i you know i hope people enjoy that um it's hard to really center everything around just filming so we kind of just film what we do and that's just what it is so you now we're just pushing here every day every day is a dream come true so the trees out there in the middle and the dreams are flowing so we will see you guys tomorrow uh, for some more claims and i hope you guys all enjoyed this video and every one of our videos um, it's really hard to put content every day so we just try our hardest to make it exciting and to deliver every day but super fun to do and the youtube journey has been amazing so far got any claims sammy j good night or good morning you